I'm WebSoak and I'm building the entire New York City subway in Minecraft. Today we have the IND 8th Avenue Lines 23rd Street Station. Now I'll be honest, I picked this station because I thought it would be easy. Well, as I would soon find out, this station was anything but. Originally thinking that this was an insignificant local station, I was soon facing an IND moment. What is an IND moment? The IND was a government funded subway company, meaning it could often afford to overdo stations. My thinking of this being an insignificant local station was quickly disproven. At first, I thought that the station would be quite simple, featuring what I assumed might be four exits. But when the exits climbed to eight, then ten, I realized that I needed to plan this out. My typical building techniques consist of building the platform, then branching off of it with the exits. But, as the exit counts had now climbed to 10, I had to come up with a new way of building the stations. So, I looked to other builders. I adapted a technique I had partially used while building the 8th Avenue wing of Times Square. A station coming soon, by the way. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on that one. I began placing color-coded wool on the roads above the platform I had set up to lay out the station. Although it still took all day to build it, and then some, this technique prevented me from encountering planning errors, which would often result in me taking over a week to complete a station. Just look at the painful spacing between the 116th Street and 103rd Street tours. Well, I'll admit I was also working on some trains, but it still saved me a lot of time. The ability to simply follow a layout was a great help. Figuring out the layout? Well, that was another story. You see, contrary to what I might want, there isn't actually some public database containing the layouts of the subway stations. So how was I going to figure out the layout of such a random local station? Well, I had a few options. Google Maps was my first thought. Unfortunately, after looking, it seemed that several of the fare control areas were poorly documented, which meant I had to get creative. My first thought was that I could hop on the C train and head down there myself, and then get all the reference material I needed, but I didn't want to take away valuable build time. Oh, and those R179s it has... They always give me a headache, so I wasn't in for that either. So I decided that I would have to turn to whatever videos I could find on YouTube of the old thing. From which I managed to piece together various clips of the station and I was able to figure out the layout. You know those front camera view subway ride videos that have become somewhat of a trend lately? Yeah, those came in handy here. If it wasn't for them, I probably would have had to go there myself, and this video would have taken longer to release. After determining the layout, I got to work on building the station. I didn't expect much of this thing, but it turned out that it was actually coming together quite nice. I had wanted to ensure that some of the mistakes that I made while building 103rd Street and 116th Street didn't rear their ugly heads again. Those mistakes were some colors being quite noticeably off. Fortunately, I was able to get them right this time, and as you can see, it came together quite nicely. Alright, so here we are in game at 8th Avenue and 23rd Street. So let's uh, have a look at the station. So we'll start out here at the downtown side. Let's give the chunks a quick reload. 23rd Street Station, c and Downtown and Brooklyn. You can see those high-res signs there, and uh, that's pretty much half the reason why I can't use shaders anymore. So we have these turnstiles over here, and then we have these ones over here, as well as these high entry exit turnstiles. And cool thing with these, you can actually go through them. You just have to reset them afterwards, alright? 
So, here's the platform. You can see it actually does uh, feel very midtown here. Despite the area being Chelsea, this kind of reminds me of my old 14th Street 6th Avenue renovation. There is one thing missing from this station and that is the route signs. So why did I choose to leave those out? Those route signs are actually quite taxing on the frame rate. It was decided that for the sake of it not turning into a slideshow, that it would be better to leave them out. And this is a new thing I'm adding now. We now have the timetables or the arrival boards. I've started including the trash cans as well. Of course, if you're new, you can sit on these benches. Apparently not that one, but you can sit at the other slots of the bench. And there's me in my MTA skin. You see there's the four track lanes as well. Then you have these exit only high entry exit turnstiles or HEETs. Exit 24th Street and 8th Avenue. So you can go through here. I've always wondered what happens if you get caught in one of these. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Better not to scar the audience. This is the wrong way. Emergency exit. Do not enter through the emergency exit. Then we can head up. And over here we come to the chat exit. 25th Street and 8th Ave. I call this one the chat exit because it is quite frankly cooler. You have staircases this time, and this small mezzanine, and then you have this. So now I have to ask, what the fuck was that? Let's see what Wikipedia has to say about it. So I looked at Wikipedia. As always, the site was useless. So I had to look somewhere else. But I did figure out something from the wiki. The IND mosaics used the sans serif font. So where did I look? I went to the nycsubway.org site and found out that, quite predictably, these were simply abandoned underpasses. So it looks like there won't be a hidden 23rd Street lower level. Then you have the end of the platform over here, as well as the 10 car stop sign above. Finally, we head out the Uptown and Queens CE side with this double exit, and that sums up the station. If you like this project and want to support it, consider donating below via the super thanks option. Subscribe if you're new. I am WebSoak, and I am saying goodbye. Thanks for watching.